everybody, it's Paul at I Saw Didgeridoo and I've got three more didgeridoos I want to show you. One of them is the middle one here which is a beautiful poplar didge and the other two, that's one I'm holding and this one here, they are my famous little mystery river didges because they both came out of the middle of a river. A quick geography lesson for you, we live near a big river and about five miles upstream is a little town called Comrie. Or I should say a little village even called Comrie. And the same river runs through it. Now every winter this river floods and it is a torrent. And I guess it could be sometimes maybe 200 yards wide is this river in certain parts. But with the lack of rain we've had and so dry, I had a little walk up there the other day with my trusty friend Cora who's outside somewhere and we dropped down onto the river bank and walked along and it's just little rivulets and pools and mounds of stones and sand and it's like that for maybe one and a half two miles and you walk up through this water it's maybe two maybe three feet deep in places but it's so beautiful so peaceful so relaxing and like I say, it's about 200 yards wide at one point is this river. So in winter, it must be quite spectacular to see. But like I say, we had a little walk along and we were looking for sticks and I managed to find a couple of washed up pieces of wood that had probably been washed up months and months and months ago, bone dry, barkless, leafless, lifeless. And so I got them and they're here. And one of them is the one I'm just blowing now. I'm tempted to say it could be a piece of sycamore, but I'm not going to hold me hand up to it. But I'm just having a guess. It could be a bit of sycamore, because there was a little bit of bark left on this. And so this is it. It is nice big long digit. It's 172 centimetres long. And there you go. And that is a very nice rugged bell. It's uh, is it? It's sort of a chunky lump there. But they mount of the bell is there that way and then it drops down where I've hollowed it out and it, the wood actually twists on itself it starts there and it sort of goes up and round just twists as though it's been forcefully twisted so that's it it's a really beautiful markings um, it is when I find my page it's 3.2 kilos in weight it's a very deep, very slow sea. And I was giving it a little blow a few minutes ago. And I must admit, they aren't my cup of tea, these big, long, deep didgeridoos. I struggled to blow them. And likewise, I was struggling a bit there to blow it. I know that some people love didgeridoos like this. that are very deep, very slow. And so, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, if anybody is interested in this, then by all means, get in touch with me. If not, I'll give it a run on eBay. If it doesn't sell, what I'm going to do, I'll get on quickly, because I've got another two to do. What I'm going to do is shorten it. And what I may do is either just cut a, maybe a foot off the mouth there, or I might just leave the mouth and take about a foot out of the middle. And then I join the two together. And I did it with the dig once before. And it's one of the nicest bits of wood I've got. I'll, I think I put it on YouTube. But it's one of the best bits of wood I've got. So anyway. So that's it. That's this beautiful nice big mystery river dig. And we shall see where we go with it. Like I say. I struggle to play it. Because it's a very deep. Very slow. See. Right. Next one that came out of the river is this one, and this is 4.4 kilos, and look at that, Ooh. and this was a sapling, and a bit of curve on it, there, you've got a beautiful big curvy dome there, and for some reason you've got a lovely big yellowy patches all around there. I actually hollowed all this out. There, there's an hole at that side, and then there's another one at that side and there you are, hollowed it out as well there 
some really nice markings, beautiful and smooth. Um, sort of like goes from pale brown to creams to yellows. The mouth has, I've made the mouth sort of like bottlenecked and it's quite a good big bottleneck and that's it. So like I said, it's 4.4, 170 odd long and what am I? And it's a B. I'll just put this on there and give this a little blow for you. Hopefully it will be easier for me to play than that other one. Right, so that is it, and it's a beautiful bit of wood, it really is, solid and so nice. So that's it, Mystery River Ditch. I've got a clue what it is. Put that there. And the last one is one that I made um, a couple of weeks ago, and I did have my eye on this for ages, and I thought, right, nobody about, I'll have you. And it's a piece of poplar. I like to say that because it was on a very popular woodland walk and doesn't look very nice when you stood there with a great big saw racking at a branch. People think you're trying to chop trees down. So I had to do it quick while there was nobody about. Anyway, I got it here. And this is it. And one of my favourite woods is poplar. And I'll open it up, hold it up. There you go. And it's a beautiful, what I would call a pipe ditch. Look at that. It's like a big giant pipe, got a whopping nice big bell on it, almost straight shaft to it, and that's it, and this poplar, it bounces between a C and a D, um, nearly 4 kilos in weight and 162 centimetres long, if, if you look at that side there you can see a black line, and if I hold it that way, there, without dropping it, you see another black line. Somebody must have had a go at this before me to try and saw it. Because that was a saw line and that was a saw line there. So try it, instead of trying to sand them out or hide them, I've actually made them stand out more and I've actually given them some stitches. So they look like big war scars. So that's it. So it's a big pipe. Right. Now I'll just give this a little blow for you, and then we're about done. And like I say, this been bouncing between a C and a D, so I'll give this a go. Right, so that's them. So I've got this beautiful big poplar pipe, and I've got two Mystery River Digges here. Like I say, the first one um, leaning towards Sycamore, very spalted, very rugged, very unusual. But for me, it's not my one to play. I find it too long, too deep, and it needs, I think, somebody who is a, into that sort of didgeridooing anyway. The big, long, deep digis. I'm sure it would suit somebody to a T. Right, so that's it. And anybody, any comments, any questions, please don't hesitate to get back to me. It's paulisawdidge at gmail.com. Like I say, I shall wait and see if anybody has any private interest. You'll never know. If not, I shall be probably putting them on eBay and see how we go from there. Thank you very much for watching 
And that's it. Another glorious day. Bit of rain, bit of sun, bit of didgeridoo making. Couldn't be better. Take care. Good night. God bless.